Hey guys, welcome to Chin Fat. This is part two in a, in a three-part series where I'm showing handy shortcuts to speed up your editing. So this we're going to start down in our timeline here. I'm clicking in my timeline and we're going to talk about playing back some playback functions. And this I'm going to be talking about the keys which are all right next to each other geographically. J, K, and L. J is to the left, K is in the middle, L is to the right. So what J does, J is a rewind button. K is a stop button and L is a forward button. With my right hand, I'm gonna put my index finger on J, my middle finger on K, and my ring finger on L. Now watch what happens. If I hit L, it starts playing forward at 100%. If I hit K, it stops. If I hit J, it rewinds at 100%. Now if I hit K and stop, I hit L forward, and I hit L forward again, it goes 150, 200% faster, 250%, 300%, 350, 400, and so on, and it will finally max out. So watch this as I go to the beginning and press and hit L for forward, L, 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 L. Now it's just going as fast as it will go, and K will stop. It's kind of a good way to find footage quickly and get around your timeline quickly. If you're looking for something, you can hit J, rewind. Once again, J, 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 same thing as uh, forward, as fast forward with L. J, 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 a bunch of times will max out, and it will go as fast as it can. It goes like up to 400% or something like that. So JKL, uh, you'll see a bunch of professionals when they're editing have their fingers on JKL quite often. Rather than grabbing your mouse and skimming through this, they're using the keyboard to do it. All right, next one is you can go over and you can grab a blade here and you move it over your playhead and you move it over your clip and you can cut. If you click on clips, you can cut your clips and put these slices in it so you can so you can select a certain portion of clips that I just cut and, uh, and delete those if you want to. Another way of performing a cut is uh, the shortcut Command K. Now if I move over a clip, these clips here are detached. You'll notice if I select one, it doesn't select the other. So watch what happens if I hit Command K here. Command K will do a slice right where your playhead is. Watch this. Command K, it cuts through both of these right here. It'll cut through activated timelines, and these ones have been activated, so it is going to cut through them. Now if you have a clip selected, like this one, if these are separated like these ones are because it's not selecting the, the audio as I select the video, and I hit Command K, look what it does. It just performs a cut on the video. Undo. If I select the audio, same thing. It'll do it just on the audio. If something is selected and you wanted it still to cut through everything, you can do Command Shift K and it will just ignore whatever is selected and cut through everything. But if you don't have a clip selected, if we have a if we have a new clip up here and this uh, tr track is turned off and we do a Command K, it's just going to do the ones that are activated. But once again, Command Shift K will cut through everything no matter what, unless it's locked. That's the only uh, uh, difference when it won't cut is when your track is locked. But if you don't have all these tracks episode, if you don't have all these tracks activated, you just do uh, Command Shift K. It cuts through everything, no matter what. The next one is also on our timeline here: is zooming in and zooming out. Up at the top of the keyboard, to the left of your big delete key or your backspace key, is the plus and minus. Now, plus is going to zoom in. Minus is going to zoom out. And the third one that I'm going to use is slash key. These all go together, so I'm counting this as one shortcut. So watch this: plus it zooms in. Minus we zoom out and backward slash above the return key or enter key uh, shows your entire timeline. So if you're zoomed up on it somewhere and you just hit the slash key, it shows your entire timeline. So it's kind of a nice quick, quick little way of zooming in and out. The next one I'd like to cover is the letter D as in Doug is D as in, I don't know, dog, I guess. Uh, but D is a selection tool as well. Wherever your playhead is positioned, if we're gonna be positioned, now right there, I'm at the very end point of this clip right here, or if it's in the middle, it'll do the same thing. But right here, if I hit the letter D, it selects everything that playhead is touching. And right now it's touching the clip's in point, it's not touching this clip's out point. If I arrowed back one frame, now I'm on the previous clip's out point, and if I hit D, it selects anything that playhead is, is selecting, so it selected those two uh, right there. So a very handy tool for selecting if you want to get rid of a clip that you're on, like right here, I want to get rid of this clip, D, for, uh, D to select it, and then the delete key to get rid of it. Now, while we're talking about that, another handy shortcut, if we, we wanted to delete this here, watch how I did that. I hit D to select it, and then I hit the big delete key, and it's gone, but there's this gap here. So you can do one of two things. You can hit, the, you can hit D again to select the gap and hit delete to delete the gap, or you can do this all in one move by hitting the letter D, and now instead of delete, I'm hitting the small delete key in this instance here rather than the big one at the top, the one that's just under, uh, just to the left of the home and, end key, home and end keys. So if I hit shift and hit that small delete, watch what it does. It deletes and fills the gap automatically. So once again, I hit the letter D, shift delete, and it does the ripple delete. Otherwise, if you just do hit D and delete, it just deletes it and leaves a gap. 
Next group of shortcuts that I'm counting as one is uh, either Control or Command, and then on the keyboard, X, C, and V. They're all located right next to each other. And this is the same on any word processor. It's the same within like an internet browser. It's the same with almost anything where, you, where you're doing uh, cut, copy, and paste. So if I'm going to select this clip right here, and I hit Command or Control X, that is a cut. Now what it's doing is it's holding that clip up on, on a clipboard, getting ready to paste it somewhere. If I do Command V, as in Victor, it will paste it. Uh, so on the keyboard, remember from left to right, X, C, and V, cut, copy, paste. So I can also have this selected, and rather than cut, if I do Command C, it copies it. Now if I go to the end of my timeline and do Command V, it pastes it. Now some other things you can do as well is you can use the Shift key as a modifier key, which is helpful. So if I want to copy this, I do Command C to copy. Well, let's, let's do this. Well, I'll do Command. I'm going to hit D to select it, Command X to cut it. I'm going to hit D to select the, the gap and hit uh, the big delete key to delete the gap. But now let's say I want to put it right there. If I do Command V, as in Victor, it pastes, but it overwrites everything in its way. So this is where it's helpful if you do, rather than Command V, you do Command or Control, Shift V. It does a ripple paste, which means it pastes it and shove everything, shoves everything else down without deleting anything in its path. So Command V will, Command or Control V will eat anything in its path. Command or Control, then Shift V will paste it and, rip, and will ripple paste it and shove everything else out. All right, number seven here, and the last one of, the, of this of this episode are your arrows up, down, left, and right. All right, so let's go through left and right first. So right here, where our playhead is, if we hit arrow right, what this does is it advances one single frame at a time. So if you're trying to find a very specific frame, you can use your arrow keys, and backwards arrow will go backwards one frame at a time. You can see my time code moving here, and it moves one frame at a time backwards, or one frame at a time forward for the right arrow. Left arrow, right arrow. Now if you hold down shift, it will do it five frames at a time. I'm holding down shift and arrow right, arrow left, and you'll notice the time code here, it's jumping five frames at a time. Now your arrows up and down, this is one of the most helpful things uh, when it comes to navigating in, in Premiere, especially if you're trying to cut, copy, and paste things or move things around, this is very helpful is landing on your edits by using arrows up and down. Arrow up lands on your edits to the left. Arrow down lands on edits to the right. So let's say we're taking this clip here and we're going to move it two clips down. I'm going to hit the letter D to select, Command or Control X to cut it, D to select the space, then uh, I'm hitting the small delete to get rid of the space. Now I'm going to arrow down twice, one, two, and right there is where I want to paste it. So Command, Shift, V to paste it and it shoves everything else out. All right, guys, well, that's the seven shortcuts for this episode. I've got a part three where I go through another seven handy shortcuts that'll help speed up your editing.